G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a HP 11-AB132TU. And the reason why I'm opening this particular one up is the SS, or the NVMe SSD or the SATA SSD. I'm not sure which way it is. I'm going to find out soon enough. It appears to have failed. So I'm going to open it up and test out that drive and then possibly upgrade it if need be. To begin with, we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. Take out three screws along the front here. All three of these should be the same. And then I believe we're going to have to take off two of the feet to be able to do it, to get the bottom cover off. Granted, I'm not expecting RAM to be able to be upgraded on this smaller budget machine. I'm use a pair of tweezers and just slide under, lift up. Bingo, we have one screw under here. And probably one screw under here. Yep. I don't expect any under here just due to the overall size of this particular cover. And we'll disconnect the battery when I do open it up. So lift, in and twist, there we go. That we very well may be another screw under here. Let's have a look. Well clipped in. I'll switch to a plastic pry tool now. Now that I've got some room under there. And I'll continue along. Now it's going to be part. Ooh, it does actually surprise me. So I do want to disconnect the battery as I mentioned. I'm just get my nail in there and pull back, and that pulls dis has disconnected here. Does actually look to have upgradable RAM, which is quite surprising to me actually. Pull this little cover off, like so. To upgrade the RAM, once the cover's off here and the battery's disconnected, we should just be able to pull the tabs out from here and here. It should flick it up in the air, like so. As you can see there. You should just be able to grab it with two fingers, one on each side, and pull out, like so. As you see, we just have four gig of DDR4, and that should be able to slide back into that groove at a similar angle, probably about a 30, uh, 25 to 40 degree angle. Push it in so those metal pins are covered down the bottom here. Push it in, then just push it down. Should click into position, like so. And then this should be right to put back over the top, to bend it slightly. Now I want to have a look down here at the NVMe drive, which if I take this cover off and flip this little latch up here, like so, this should pull backwards towards me, like so. Looks like there's only one screw holding this. Take that out and then lift this up. And we've got one other screw hidden here. There. Oop, I did forget to put that one back on, but I'll do that in a moment. And this here we have a NVMe drive hidden under here. I'm just going to cheat and slice it open. If I can handle the blade. Don't know why this is holding up so well. There we go. Here we go. Hold that over. And we have one MBA or one SSD here with the model number. Oh, we're a serial ATA, so we're a SATA based SSD. So it's a 128 gig model with the model number MZ-NLN128C. We were to replace that with another M.2 SATA SSD. Don't know if NVMe would be compatible. I'm assuming it's not going to be, but I very well may be wrong. I'll find that out soon. Let's disconnect that screw. It lifts up, it flicks up, pull it out from there. Then to reinstall that, simply line it up, slight angle. Do note the notch here, pushes in. Push down, screw in. Mm. 
like so. And we go back this way, latch goes up, cable goes under and in, like so. Latch goes down and put those screws back in. You don't have to potentially remove the NVMe drive out of there to be able to replace it. May help, may not. Next up, I'll go back to this shield here. There we go. Cover back on. Also, if you do damage the charging port on here, it will be removable. This screw or this hinge here will come up, that will flip up, undo here, and you'll be able to remove it from there. And to put this back together, basically line it up, push down, click it back into position. So I did find the NVMe drive, NVMe M.2s aren't compatible with this particular one. Then from there we want to use the longer silver screws, here and here. Put your feet back on. And then there's three smaller black screws. Simply go one, two, three. That will do for today, and I hope that helps you, and I'll see you later. Bye.